So Kate's Clothing is one of my favorite, favorite places to shop at. It is a website and it stocks so many of my favorite brands and they always run amazing deals and the customer service is unparalleled. I've been shopping with them for years and they are an absolute delight to deal with. So I'm very excited to be making you this video in collaboration with them. Most of the pieces today are gifted. Not all of them though. So everything else you'll see, I bought myself from Kate's Clothing, like this dress and I will list everything in the description, what's gifted and what's not. We're gonna be styling three outfits today uh, featuring different brands. The first up is the Canva Top by Dark and Love. So Dark and Love is a brand that Kate's Clothing stocks quite a bit of, and it's got some really cool Gothic pieces. So this bit obviously is a black crop top, which goes with everything. So I have filled my entire wardrobe with black crop tops. And I especially love the lace up accents on this and also the silver hardware. The buckles are functional, but not actually adjustable because there aren't any other holes, but you can very easily fix this by just popping a hole in there and setting the straps to whatever length you want. And also the lacing on the back, this is my one complaint about this top is that there isn't like an easy access zip. You have to lace yourself in and out, but it's quite smooth lacing, so it goes quite easily. And also there's a modesty panel, so we don't need to worry about the back of our bra showing. I wasn't sure about the shape of this when I originally put it on, but once I actually tighten the laces, it just, I love the silhouette, I love the silhouette. We are gonna then be putting that with the Leah Tartan mini skirt. I love this. Now the sizing is a little bit ambiguous because on the website they do recommend sizing up to go with the size guide. What's great about Kate's clothing is they list all the measurements in tables for most products. So you can always find your perfect fit. This one actually, I had to return and size down, but returns they sort amazingly quick all the time. So that was absolutely no stress at all. Obviously monochrome plaid's always a win because it's black and white, so I can put it with colors without risk of clashing. Also, I love the hardware accents here and this safety pin accent. It is entirely detachable, so I might just whack it on any clothes and enjoy it like that. I love the asymmetric front to this. It's really, really cool looking. It's like an, a leveled up, edgier version of a plaid skirt, so I'm a big fan. No prizes for guessing the name of this one. This is the Fishnet Hooded Bolero, also by Dark and Love, and I love the PVC accents on this, uh, the, the rivets in them as well, and the O-rings just to add a little accent on the sleeve and a buckle front to, you know, both easy access and also hardware accents are such a win for me. And the hood, thankfully, is nice and big, so it's a cool looking flattering hood. Super crop things are always fun because you can really change up an outfit just by shoving it on top of the top. For our second look, I seem to have put all the dark and love items in a row. So this is the Sarai, no idea how to pronounce that, cold shoulder top. And again, the hardware accents on these pieces are just completely rocking my world. Very cool fishnet again. The seam on the waist, I find, I'm not sure about how flattering that is, but if I wear it with something a little higher waisted, I think that's absolutely fine. And the lace up is adjustable. So I've tucked mine underneath the top here so it's not hanging out. Fastening wise, we've got a button at the neck to get in now and a nice little keyhole bit there. So it's really flattering. I love a cold shoulder. You know, get those shoulders out, live your dreams. And the more fishnet in my life, the better, so. And then to go with that, I'm gonna use the Zoe denim shorts from Killstar. This is mostly just for styling purposes. I'll talk more about this pair in another video that I have coming up. But what I will say about, particularly with Killstar, is Kate's clothing will always match the discount code. So if they're doing 40% off clearance, so will Kate's clothing. But something to note is Kate's clothing often has different items on clearance. So I managed to get these for super cheap. So I love it. Then to complete this look, I'm gonna put this with the Gothic Sin Pocket Belt by Necessary Evil. I love adding external pockets to outfits because also with women's clothes, we don't get given much in the way of pockets. So adding some on top is such a strong bet. So these have three pockets, uh, one pot flap and two zips. I know for festivals and stuff, stuff like this is so handy to have. Not that we can really go to festivals for like a long time, but in my head, I'm shopping for festivals always. So for our third look to start, I'm putting it with the Sacred One piece from Killstar. This I managed to get also again on a clearance extra sale on Kate's clothing. So I got it for super, super deep cheap, uh, which was good because I was a bit worried that the model was six inches shorter than me and it wasn't gonna fit me. But surprisingly, I think it does hold up quite well height wise. So that's good. We're putting that with the Harlow Tartan skirt by Dark and Love again. Oh, what can I say? It's a gorgeous pink, purple and yellow plaid. It's the stuff of my dreams. Also, again, gorgeous hardware, lovely asymmetric front, chain, bonus chain, and then also the heart accents on this. Oh, I've been loving collecting pieces with heart accents right now. This is like the color scheme of my dreams, okay? 
Let's get technical. This is the Charlotte Holster Harness with Pocket by Necessary Evil. I've accidentally undone it, but I promise you it stays up when it's on you. So what I love about this is for one, adjustable fit. I actually sized up in this. The size down, which was a, a small 10, I think, felt a little bit tight, but I, I definitely prefer this. Same as the belt that matches this, no less, is it's so useful for festivals because you have this pocket that you can attach to any of these D-rings on any side. You can also attach this to other things. So this is what I do with extra pockets a lot, the belt loops on jeans. You can just stick a pocket on there and boom, cool accent pocket, done, sorted. For this look, I'm not gonna wear it. I'm gonna take it off because I feel like with a silhouette, it's not gonna be the best look for what I want. So we're just gonna get rid of it and just wear the harness as is. But I kind of regret not sticking that on the shorts in the outfit before. Finally, to complete this look, wow, that's a lot of lacing. These are the Anan, how do you say that? Arm harness with pockets, again, by Necessary Evil. So this kind of completes the set of these extra pockets that we've been looking at today. So these you do have to get in via the lacing, but it's actually quite easy to do. Less easy to tie a bow yourself while it's on your arm, but feasible, I managed it. And it's just really nice bit of extra pockets. A little bit bulky, but that means it's actually got some space in them and it's a pretty cool and edgy look that V on the end of sleeves where it goes around your middle finger. So flattering, so gorgeous, like a lovely gothic edge that's just so classic. So I'm really happy that these have these. Also means that they sort of don't rotate and twist around your arm very easily. Again, perfect festival wear. Like, could you imagine, oh, I need some coins. I'll just get them out of my sleeve. Amazing. So there are three looks. I hope you enjoyed the mix of cool, edgy gothic, but also festival functional. I love that, that's the goal. Again, I love Kate's clothing. I've been shopping there for years. They're absolutely wonderful. And Kate herself, I know there's a real Kate. She's so sweet and so lovely. So please do check them out and go have a nice shop because I've also got more videos coming because they have a three for two sale on right now. I just did a little bit of a splurge. My mother's gonna see this and tell me off, but I did a little bit of a splurge. So I've got some really, really cool pieces coming, like the coolest, coolest stuff I've ever ordered. And hopefully, we'll do some more Kate's clothing to shoot even more. I'll also say that Kate's clothing does more than just clothing. They also do a lot of really cool homeware, which I've got some in my room, so I'll probably cover that in a room tour in a future video. Let me know what your favorite look was, what your favorite piece was, if you have any questions about any of the pieces. I'm here to help. I will put my own sizing info in the description as well as what size I'm wearing of each of these pieces. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you liked the looks. I'm sending all the love in these trying times. Please do leave me a like, comment, and even a subscribe if you're feeling generous. And if you're just watching this on my Instagram, hey guys. Got a new video coming in a few days. So I'm very excited that. I hope you guys have an amazing week. All the love.